Good evening, I'm Tanner Hesterberg. The two men hoping to represent Kentucky's 31st Senate District for the next four years squared off at a forum tonight. Democrats Ray Jones and Glenn Martin Hammond made their cases to voters in Pike, Lawrence, Martin, Morgan and Elliott counties for why he is the best choice to serve the district. Both candidates are attorneys in Pikeville and did not take it easy on each other tonight as they sparred over a wide range of issues. Glenn Martin Hammond and Ray Jones took verbal shots at each other early and often during Monday night's forum at the East Kentucky Expo Center. The Democrats tackled several topics, including whether local government should be allowed to pay off debts with coal severance money. What's been going on as far as the good old boy system, if you will, to borrow an expression from Donald Trump, is not been working here in this state, especially in this region. Career politicians have still not delivered and in fact, the only ones that they've delivered is they line item the budget, tax budget, to determine where the money has gone to. Our severance tax resources are scarce. They have to be spent to create jobs, not for political patronage, not to buy county officials new trucks, not to send them to conferences like CACO. Our severance tax resources have to be spent to create jobs. Jones says he deserves a fifth term in the Senate because of his track record securing funding for schools and road projects. While Hammond argues Jones has not done enough for the people of the 31st District and there needs to be a fresh face in Frankfurt. Jobs are dissipating at an alarming rate, as we know. Coal miners are out of work left and right. No plans have been put in place. Uh, kids are going to school without textbooks. I have a proven record of delivering for this community roads, water, sewer, schools, infrastructure. I am in the best position of anybody in the state Democrat the Senate as a Democrat to deliver for this community. The lack of trustworthiness for my opponent should scare every person here. The candidates were not the only ones arguing. At one point, their supporters waged their own war of words with each other setting up an election that's sure to cause a lot more chatter in the mountains. Tonight's forum was hosted by the Appalachian News Express. Primary election day in Kentucky is May 17th. Whoever wins the Democratic race for 31st District Senator will run unopposed in the general election.